In your 2021 Digital Trends and Predictions webinar, your research suggests that digital transformation has become a uh, discipline and department. So the, the concept of this department is interesting. You advise organisations to create a transformation management office is the phrase. Tell us about the role of uh, this department in the organisation. So that would be kind of a best case scenario. A transformation office would be amazing to have. In practice, it's really difficult to do and a lot of companies won't make the investment to do it. So one thing that we've seen in the latest research and, and, and what I can tee up for you, we're releasing it later this in, in, in October, is the State of Digital Transformation 2021. What we found was that there's a clear difference between companies that successfully digitally transformed and companies that kind of had average results. And the number one difference was was that it didn't matter whether they had a transformation office or not. What mattered was, was that the CEO was leading the charge as opposed to a chief digital officer or a chief transformation officer or a chief experience officer. It was really important that the CEO and even the board of directors were directly involved in setting the transformation agenda. And so what I would say now is a transformation office is great, but it has to be a transformation office that is uh, that has some teeth to it, that has some backing and resources from the top executives. It can't be a transformation office that kind of floats at the mid-level um, and is kind of a conglomerate of folks from different departments. In in those cases, we've seen we've seen become very ineffective. So there's a difference there. And so the messaging coming from the CEO as opposed to a chief digital officer or related type of role is that is that the effectiveness of driving the messaging down through the organization, the authority of the voice, what, what is it that made the, made the difference? So two things. The first is that you really depend on the CEO to take the company forward. Everybody else in the company is tasked with, with doing their day-to-day operations operations and even playing catch up in a way. Uh, If you think about transformation initiatives, the CIO is focused on modernizing the technology infrastructure. Chief digital officer is focused on getting things online and and making sure that the products work in the same way. Chief marketing officer is just trying to beat last year's numbers. Same thing with sales. The CEO is the only one who can really look ahead. And in order to enact a transformation agenda, it has to come from someone who's looking ahead, who's creating some some sort of a um, a, a purpose for that transformation purpose driven transformations work transformations that are in service of catching up are are average results and so it's it's because the CEOs have the the the, the, the foresight of where they want to be good ones do at least and then CEOs also are the ones that can can devote the resources that ultimately a good transformation agenda needs I mean, without uh, creating any spoilers for this research, was not not released yet. Were there any uh, surprises in there, which uh, in your findings? I wouldn't say surprises, but it's confirmed a lot of hypotheses that we had had for the last few years. And um, I think now is the time where we've actually been able to collect enough data for 10 years of digital transformation to come out and say that, look, a lot of the stuff that we've thought before is actually coming true. And I'm happy to share a few of those, which won't come as surprises to people, but it may confirm some things that they've always thought of and, and, and they can take and move forward. So We've seen clear differences, as I mentioned before, between those that had uh, great results with their transformation and those that didn't. Um, Again, leadership was key. But the other thing was that successful companies really devoted a lot of time to experience, both the customer experience and the employee experience. Experience compared to average performers that were more likely to devote their investments to modernizing IT as well as um, uh, creating efficiency in processes. Not that they didn't focus on CX and EX as well. It's just that it wasn't as much of a priority as it was for more mature companies. And so that's a really key differentiator is that when you're transforming the company, um, you usually come into it with this idea of modernizing IT and as you should, and that's typically what digital transformation has meant for the last many years, but doing it in service of something that is customer facing is what we've seen has the biggest results. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, though, it's, it's been proven in places which have been in the comparison between the current and the current. Let's talk about your conference.